Hey guys, so doing another fitting. For today, we are actually in another Ford Ranger, like our previous video, but this one's a little bit different because today we're doing the Space Cab or Extra Cab um, version of the Ranger line. So I'm in the back of one that we've got for today and already I can see that the main components of it are the two bases, the one backrest, and then just the two headrests. And it's pretty straightforward. Um, we're just making the videos so that if there is anything that isn't um, explained well enough or um, you can't get the gist of, we can then help you to be able to do that so your seats are covered and protected in um, the quickest amount of time possible from when you get them. So for the extra cabin or space cab uh, Ranger, you're going to want to get the FR227XC. Uh, we're doing it in the canvas grey today, so obviously you would have got your packet. We're going to open it up. that to the side you got your card and that'll explain what it is and everything on the back you will have the disclaimer of how to wash them and um, that will have some uh, fitting instructions but for those who can't get around just that uh, hence that's why we're making the video so straight up when you open it up you'll see you got your two headrests you'll have Whoops. You have two bases, so that's one, and that's two. And then obviously you have your backrest, so that's one piece. So three pieces plus the headrest, five pieces. Pretty simple compared to a lot of cars. Um, much more easy to get around, so the only issue is it is quite a bit of a squeeze when you're trying to work around them, obviously because you have less room than a dual cab, but there is lots of ways around it and that's what we're doing today so i guess we'll begin with doing the bases all right so straight off the bat with the bases things to keep in mind is the base shape is the exact same either side so you don't have to worry about which one goes on which side they are the exact same ford have really thought this out and it really helps with us is if you pull the tab below there's a little lever you pull that you lift the front up and you push the back backwards the whole seat itself comes off i think that is one of the greatest things that they've ever thought of it is really really good it is just an easy uh, way to access everything and to get things out the way and if you want to put something on here without damaging your seats you just take them off it's just incredible thing to think about so with the seats, you'll see that this side will be the wide, part, the wide part and this side will be the small with the little indents. Same as our seat cover. So it's really simple, really easy. All you gotta do is put the front bit on, keep all the Velcro uh, sides out, flip that around, put the sides over, and the other side over. And then you can start putting on a little Velcro. So I've just put it back on. All you do is focus on all the corners, push them down. These bits will bow out naturally, but if you just push them in, they'll go straight like that. And that is done. And that's on simple easy so now we'll do the other side other one's done nice and flat nice and easy same thing again just slip it over the front pull the back as tight as possible pull those sides down put the velcros all around and that is as simple as it can be so again to put it on line the holes up with those those hooks push it all the way back and then pull it forward drop it down straight down and it will just mount with those up with the hooks so next we got to take the headrest out and then we'll do the, the backrest so next we got the headrests same thing again like the bases sides don't matter which one you go on but always have the tag facing forwards that's just one thing only because that's the shape 
of the sides of the headrest you can see. That'll be the shape because they bow out and they're flat on the back. So to get them on, make sure you keep the, the Velcro uh, straps out, just otherwise they get caught, it'll be a bit annoying to redo. So pull all the way down, pull the, the back tab all the way forward, and push the front one all the way back. And that's done. And we'll do the same with the other side. So open it up. Uh, something I like to do is I like to use my fingers to get all the um, corners pushed out and everything. Just because when they're in packaging and going around and everything, sometimes they can get pushed back in. So again, push it all the way down. Pull that back flap all the way forward. Pull the front one all the way back. Alright, so doing the backrest, I've found the easiest way to do it is uh, to pop these top corners on either side and then underneath you'll feel the rail. There actually, there's actually hooks on the back of behind this panel, on the metal part. There's actually these hooks and the seat has a rail that goes over top of it. If you just reach under and you'll be able to feel where the, the hook is and the loop of that rail that's attached to the backrest you just got to lift the seat up and it will unclip and then you can actually move the seat a bit more and you can get around the corners and stuff so when we do the backrest just straighten it out make sure the duck is obviously up the right way this um, velcro strap will go straight down the middle you have room now because um, you've obviously pulled the clips out and everything, so they'll be able to feed straight under all the way down. You should be able to reach underneath and grab it, just like that. Straighten it out. Now, because you've got those corners loose, you can attach the top corners. And then put the elastic from the bottom of our covers around and try to feed that corner over as well. Same with this side. Like that. And then grab that Velcro from behind again and pull that up nice and tightly. And then feed these corners all the way in, just so it's nice and neat. And then you have a Velcro, the smaller Velcro, the rough side on the bottom of the cover for the backrest. Push that all the way back, push that one forward. And that's sorted. Pretty nice and easy. Um, and that's as simple as it needs to be. And then again, to put this back into place, just try to get all these, all this um, nice and flush. If you can, try put it behind the plastic, that'll be good. So just push the corners back in. They should grab. And then this bottom bit, you just lift it up and put it back over that hook. Don't be afraid to um, push it a bit, a bit harder because it is made to be able to hold on tight. So you got to give it a little bit of a, little bit of a bump, and just push. Make sure all those clips are back in, and it's that simple. how easy it is guys so you got your backrest you got your headrests and you got your bases so hopefully this made a lot of sense hopefully it was a little bit easier for you after watching this video if you needed any help with it um, or if you just needed um, a little bit of an answer to a small question um, but yeah that's that's it for it today guys um, if you do have any more questions about it or need any more help feel free to message call or email us um, and hope this helped and Hopefully you get it sorted. So stay safe, stay protected, and have a great day.